We're going to turn now to the growing debate over whether all of us should now be wearing masks. Since this crisis began, U.S. health officials have repeatedly said that healthy people should not wear masks unless they're caring for someone who's sick. But some experts are now saying that wearing masks may be a beneficial way to stop the spread. Steve, Steve Osinsami is outside the CDC in Atlanta with more. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. There is disagreement about whether wearing an ordinary average face mask protects the average person from the coronavirus. This here is an N95. This is the mask that's in high demand and short supply because health professionals need this to protect themselves while treating patients. Here at the CDC, they argue that having the average person wear an ordinary mask can be counterproductive because you're often putting the mask on and off your face and spreading disease. But there are a number of scientists who disagree. It may be one of the more simple tools used to help stop the spread of communicable diseases, the face mask. And in the fight against COVID-19, both the CDC and the World Health Organization continue to state that only healthcare workers, caregivers, and people suffering symptoms should wear them. But some leading specialists from Asia, where the disease first struck, are saying this morning that face masks may have played a role in helping them contain the coronavirus outbreak. And not hospital-grade masks, just masks made of fabric. The head of the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention told Science Magazine that the big mistake in the U.S. and Europe, in my opinion, is that people aren't wearing masks. Many people have asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic infections. If they are wearing face masks, it can prevent droplets that carry the virus from escaping and infecting others. Jeremy Howard, a research scientist at the University of San Francisco, wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post highlighting data from COVID-19 success stories in Asian countries such as South Korea, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, where everyone is wearing masks. So I've analyzed 38 scientific papers that have looked at the relationship between using masks and uh, the transmission of uh, COVID-19 and similar kinds of viruses. And they all tell the same story which is that wearing a mask can decrease transmission by up to 50%. Here in the U.S. in late February, the U.S. Surgeon General shared this on Twitter, saying, seriously, people, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing general public from catching coronavirus. The government's advice is in stark contrast to what people are practicing in countries such as Japan and South Korea. Again, these are not N95 masks that health workers desperately need. Some health experts believe one reason U.S. officials have discouraged people from buying masks is because the N95s are in short supply. So if you go and buy up N95 respirators, that means there's going to be some doctors and some nurses who will have to make difficult decisions. You know, they might have to reuse their N95 respirator or, or, or try something else. And thanks to Steve for that. And earlier this morning, I asked Dr. Fauci to weigh in on this debate. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the most important use for a face mask is for a healthcare worker to protect that person from getting infected. The second most important is to put it on someone who's infected to prevent them from infecting healthcare workers and those around them. But there is some rationale that the person in the street who may not know they're infected could actually prevent the spread to other people by wearing masks. This hasn't been proven. We know the masks are not 100 percent effective. People might think and, and get under the impression that if they wear a mask, they're completely protected, and they're not. But even when you pull back and think about it, we're starting to re-examine the possibility that if there are enough masks, should everyone be bearing masks, those who are trying to protect themselves and those who are trying to protect others because they might be infected. There was always this feeling that there's not enough masks, so you've got to prioritize them to the healthcare workers and to those who are infected. But given the situation that we might have enough masks for everyone, I think there's some rationale that we should utilize them much more than we do at the present time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.